happen is everything, everything, when we come to live on earth, is everything here to teach us something. Bunny, bunny passing over is that to teach Jamie something. Is every, does everything, I don't want to say does everything happen for a reason or is there a plan? But is there learning in everything? Is there something to take away from everything? He, you've already nailed it. Um, he wanted to take away the word teaching and just say uh, learning like you just did. There's a learning experience in everything that happens, the way the wind blows, how the leaf fell, everything. Could the, could the learning situation be as simple as I shouldn't put myself in this situation? Yeah. Yes. Oh, because I had one of those. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yes. why do I keep putting myself in this situation thinking it's going to be different? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so funny so funny what have you guys been doing up there in heaven um I, he was rambling on about how the experience of being human is based on a series of learning when you get here you have a complete opportunity for amnesia you get a restart button a do-over like every life you're choosing has a do-over sometimes you have these pockets of I know but that doesn't make sense sometimes you have these pockets of knowledge he says which I don't think this makes sense because um, for me knowledge is something that you already learn and if you're saying we have an opportunity to learn then we don't have the knowledge <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it something like existential like consciousness or whatever you have information that you didn't learn is sitting okay. there okay and so sometimes when you get into a situation you're like bam i've got all the answers and i don't really know why but i feel really expansive those are those moments right and we have few and far between of those we have pockets of them scattered you know throughout but that when we choose to incarnate to earth we wouldn't want to come and do it if there was no learning involved if the actions on earth were just haphazard or it's just occurring because that's what happens on earth the the wind blows that direction that's just it there's nothing to it if there wasn't anything to it we wouldn't hab habitate i think that's the right word i don't know we wouldn't habitate earth right There'd be no reason to come. There'd be no reason to come. We can stay where we are and just, you know, keep our knowledge and our existence. But if we didn't have the opportunity to forget, to pretend to learn and exercise those muscles, this is all for, for nothing. But when a soul reaches where you are, Griffin, and you have access to everything, all knowledge, probably, I would guess you do, I'm assuming access yes okay does it mean you hold it with you and carry it with you all the time correct i do not what makes a soul want to come back to earth because then a soul recognizes where you are like wow i want to come back to earth because i feel really weak in this area like i feel like i'm not empathetic and i feel like i really need to learn how to be more empathetic even as a soul you recognize i'm not empathetic or whatever the case may be. I'm using that as an analogy. I think you're very empathetic. I just couldn't, that's the first thing that came to mind. Oh, no, no, it's a good example. It's a good example. Yeah. Um, he was burping and he saw I'm that they got on my nerves. I'm rude and I get on people's nerves and I don't take that into consideration. So, so I have to learn that lessons. I will be incarnated <laughs> soon to learn how to not be rude. <laughs> Every time you would pause, he would do like a little burp. I'm like, <laughs> can't even look at him. That's a kid. But you're onto something. Though where we are, we don't really recognize any faults. It, not that we're perfect here. Right, because um, I'm sure there's souls you're drawn to hang around and souls you're not drawn to hang around. Right. right? Yes. 
what we have here is extreme compassion and unconditional love and understanding and honesty, you know, and those things do in their ultimate sense, kind of wipe out some things like jealousy, right? Uh, anger, hurt, all of that. You know, it's like, yeah, we can feel them if we force ourselves to hang out there, but it takes a lot of effort. So right. why do it? Right. But we can access the experiences of our lives that we've had all the different kinds of incarnations and we can look at them and go god that one you know i almost got what i wanted out of that i'd like to try that again and so that's what i'm going to look for and so really it's us kind of upgrading our life experiences to hit certain marks it's not that we're assessing where we are in heaven and home and going i don't like that I'm not as empathetic. So I'm going to choose a life that I can learn that. Right. Right. That's cool. I never thought about that. It was a really good question. Right. I was just thinking that like what you want to keep evolving and evolving and evolving. And there must be some reason you come to earth in to evolve in ways that you can't evolve where you are. You have to come here to evolve in that way. You must hit a plateau on some things. Mm -hmm. all come back we do because we back. don't have all those vibrational differences we don't have you know all of these colors here so if we want to operate here in a better way finding the opposing is what's going to help us Griffin, i get it like tit for tat yeah i do too griffin are there any coasters in life like i'm just gonna go coast through life and it's gonna be easy Oh, he immediately thought roller coasters. <laughs> <laughs> that's no, that's what life is, fucker. <laughs> it is a total roller coaster, and I hate roller coasters. I was like, oh. Just on teacups. <laughs> oh, yeah. the teacups. Yeah, they make you nauseous. Oh, I can't do them. Yeah. Is there anyone just coasting, Griff? Mm, there are some experiences. Because I'm never going to say no. I think there are people out there who could go and coast on a life. Mm -hmm. But mostly what I've witnessed so far is that people come in and they squeeze their their exercises or what they want to get out of it in a younger age frame. And then after that mark, you know, it's just uh, extra. And I guess you can call that coasting. Right. I got what you're saying. But you, you do, everyone goes through a hardship on earth. You have to have at least one hardship. He shrugs his shoulders. Okay. So it's all relative. Yeah. Like grief. Everyone goes through experience. Right. That I can say for certain. And yes, it's just like grief. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, some people get upset if they have a bad hair day. You know, that's, it's relative. But guess so, huh? Yeah. Or break a nail. Yeah. Or we get really upset. The Kardashians, for example. Nah. -uh. I'm just kidding. I think they're <laughs> probably pretty cool. Some of them. I, like the I think they have hairdressers. Yeah. How they have, they have like a bad hair day. They have glam. I like the mom. I really like her. I didn't like her at first. But when she went through the came out with the the guy I went through, became a girl and all that. She was going through more than I thought. And I was judging based on what I thought she was going through. But behind the scenes, she was going through a lot more. She was a lot stronger than I thought. Yeah. Isn't that something when we judgy wedgy, we're always wrong. <laughs> right? Kevin says, I wasn't going to touch that one, but I yes. Know. God, I'm always wrong when I judge you. When I do this. I'm wrong every time. It is so weird. I've noticed that in my lifetime. The moment I judge someone on first, like this, like, I'm wrong every time. Every time. Because that's pretty cool. Now that you know that, you can mark that one off your list. Right. And know that's not what it is. Exactly. And then ask for the truth. I know. Griff, when I get there, will you be excited to see me? Like, I think Hell like, yes. Okay. Like, will we hang out and stuff? Like, like, how does that work? <laughs> you will probably want to hang out with me more than I want to hang out with you. 
kind of like it was here. <laughs> It'll bring back memories, Griff. <laughs> well, not so much because you're you're having the sensation of being separate from me right now. And I won't be I'm, separate from you. When I'm, I'm not having it. I get to see you every day. I talk to your higher consciousness. I am totally involved. We have not parted ways. So you're getting the short end of the stick right now. So right. you're going to want to immediately make up for it until you realize, oh, I'm collecting all those memories now of me experiencing you when I was alive and you were deceased. Don't let me forget to ask Peggy something, but this is too deep. I, I have to touch this. Griff, Griff, Griff. Wait, so here's another universal thing that you're just going to make everyone feel better today. I have the chills. So when Bunny dies, or I God, I wish there was another word. Let's use transitions. When people go home, when Bunny went home, when Oso goes home, when you went home, even though when Chris Gregoire went home, when Junior went home, when my mom went home, when my Uncle Raj went home, when everybody, Carl went home, everybody in the room, Peggy, they were sad to leave us, don't get me wrong, no offense to anyone on earth and what they have to leave behind. And Stephanie's there today, Gilman, um, I, I, and the Palladians, everybody. You guys, since like Chris Gregoire said, since my life is not being offered back to me, I'm happy. Tell my mom I'm happy because my life is not being offered back to me because he didn't want to hurt her. Like, of course he was want to be with his mom. Like, but the way he said it, I, I thought that was eloquent. Like, mom, my life's not being offered back to me, so know that I'm good, you know? So you guys are all good, and you don't have, you're still with us. Like, you don't miss us the way we miss you. Like, when we go home, I'll still see Dylan. I'll still be part of his life, and you're still part of our lives. So when parents are sad that their kids are gone, they need to really know that we got the short end of the stick, that their kids did not get the short end of the stick after they adjust and go home and realize where they are. Yes, because not only are we able to see and communicate to those on earth, which is in a very different way. Okay. You know, it's not like the way we were. So there is some adjustment there. Right. But we're experiencing your higher self that is connected to you. So I can go to my mom, Marshawn, and have a conversation in spirit. So you know me even deeper, Griff? Yes. Than I know myself. Yeah. While yes. I'm here. Yes. That's a trip. <sighs> I never thought about that. So you can go with my higher self and Jamie's higher self and laugh at the, what dumbass. <sighs> Like, my higher self could be, like, to Griff's higher self, Marshawn is not my best work. <laughs> <laughs> she's not my best version. No, she's not my best life. <laughs> he goes, you know that's not true. That's not I what they're know. saying. I've but, been, but you, get what, you get my point. Yes, yeah. So I can still have the conversation, but you, where you are, you don't get many opportunities to have the conversation with me. Griff, do you guys feel when we're sad? Like, you just feel it. I don't have to say, Griff, I'm sad. Like, you just feel it. Like, my mom's off today. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, you don't have to come check in with me. Like, you just know. Yeah, you just know. Wow. It's like when you get up and you check the weather app. <laughs> right. <laughs> What's the right. weather today? I know y'all have helped trying to change my energy before and it's worked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. You're about oh. due for another quantum leap. Yeah. I love, God, you're just dropping some wisdom today.